All right, it's December 29th, and here I am again with my 1970 Jacobson with the hydraulic on it. And when I posted the video, I think it was in August, when I just got the hydraulics working, I said I'd have an implement for it. So here is the first implement I got ready. It is a 42-inch spring trip dozer blade. You can see the spring back here. And we're about to get our first plowable snowfall. So I'm going to put some weights on, get ready for the storm. So I'll um, do a cold start as I'm pulling it out here. All right, so it's about 28 degrees out. And I haven't started my tractor in about a week. So it is a real cold start and we'll see how it goes. So, as you can see, it starts up pretty good and easily, and can attest to the fact that my newer John Deere here does not start that very good when it's cold. So, old tractors, definitely better. Alright, so a little bit about the snow plow. It's a spring trip plow, so it trips when you hit obstacles. And those springs are not the original springs, but the original springs are very rare to find in good condition so I just kind of rigged that up there and here is skid shoes I got it set a little high because my driveway is gravel so the only thing I don't like about this plow is that see it's got this long frame that runs under the tractor all the way back here to the transmission so it kind of hurts the ground clearance a little and that's not very good. The other thing is the plow blade itself, you can see this is in a fully raised position right now and there's not very much clearance on that either. So it's okay for driveways and stuff but if you're plowing anything but snow in a driveway it's not very good because it'll just trip over everything as you're going over bumps and stuff. So here's the tractor with the standard dozer blade on it and this is a 1967 8 horse chief 800 which also started right up and this one hasn't been started for a couple months now so on this one the frame just goes right back to that plate on the axle there and it's solid so it doesn't trip over and it works a lot better for stuff other than snow also as you can see there's a lot more clearance under the blade and this is only about halfway up but I want to switch the blade off of this eventually because this is the electro lift ram and it's very slow and cumbersome when it gets cold out but for the meantime I don't have a weight rack for my tractor yet so I'm going to transfer this weight rack that we built for this tractor over to my tractor and those are two 50 pound elevator weights in there so it equals about the same amount as the original wheel weights did but eventually I'm going to do a rack like this but with a concrete block in it for the back of my tractor alright so I put the weight rack on it's just a simple rectangle of angle iron and it bolts on down here with the same bolts as the hitch and the hitch still stays on put my clevis in there in case I do actually get stuck can you pull it out easy and so I'm gonna put the weights in and we'll take you for a ride it's just starting to snow out so later on when it does accumulate I'll make a snow plowing video and maybe a video of me doing some donuts All right, and also uh, I figured I'd show uh, there is my 1966 Jacobson that I just picked up as a Christmas present and it has 
an original hay band sickle bar made for Jacobson to go on this tractor. It's 48 inches long, and here's the drift lever and everything for it. So I'm pretty excited about this. The sickle bar is pretty rare. This is a cheap 1,010 horse. So um, I'll post some videos later once I get this working and running all the way. Right now it runs, but it has a knock, so I'm gonna do some little engine rebuilding on it. And then hopefully in the springtime, I'll be able to have a video of this cutting.